Hi everybody, this is Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch Today, and in today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to knit the elliptical cable stitch. How to knit the elliptical cable, English style, left-handed. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles. Special thanks to our sponsor, Skissel, for providing today's needles. Today, we are using their Addy Lace Interchangeable Clicks in the size 8. And a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their 100% Merino Lamb's Bowl line in the color purple. For this stitch, you will need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, knit through the back loop, purl through the back loop, cable. This cable stitch has worked over 12 stitches on a reverse stockinette background. Now even though this stitch is worked on a reverse stockinette background, I am only going to be including the instructions for the actual cable, not the reverse stockinette. Row 1. Beginning on the wrong side of our pattern, we are going to knit 2. Then we are going to purl 2 through the back loop. Next we are going to purl 4. Then we'll purl two through the back loop again. And we'll finish by knitting two. Row two, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to knit two through the back loop. Then we're going to knit four normally. We'll knit two through the back loop again. And we'll finish up by purling two. For row three, we're going to repeat row one, so we'll knit two. And we're going to purl two through the back loop. We'll purl four as normal. Then we'll purl two through the back loop again. And we'll finish up by knitting two. Row four, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to knit two through the back loop. Then we're going to do a cable four back. So we're going to slip the next two stitches onto our cable needle. We're going to hold that behind our work. Then we'll knit two stitches from our main needle. And then we'll knit the two stitches from our cable needle. Okay, and we'll hold our cable needle off to the side. Then we're going to knit two through the back loop. And we will finish up by purling two. Row five, we're going to repeat row one again. So we're going to knit two. Then we're going to purl two through the back loop. Then 
and we will purl four. And we will purl two through the back loop again. And we will finish up by knitting two. Row six, we're going to repeat row two, so we will purl two. Then we're going to knit two through the back loop. Then we'll knit four regularly. We'll knit two through the back loop again. And we will purl two to finish. Row seven, we're going to repeat row one again, so we'll knit two, purl two through the back loop, then we're going to purl four as normal, we'll purl two through the back loop again. And we will knit two to finish. Row eight. We're going to repeat row two again. So we'll begin by purling two. Then we'll knit two through the back loop. Then we'll knit four as normal. We'll knit two through the back loop again. And then we will finish by purling two. Row nine, we're gonna repeat row one. So we'll knit two, purl two through the back loop. And we're gonna purl four. We'll purl two through the back loop again. And we'll finish up by knitting two. Row 10, we're going to begin by purling two. Then we're gonna take our cable needle and we're gonna slip the next four stitches onto our cable needle. And we're gonna hold that behind our work. Then we're going to knit the two stitches off of our main needle. And then we'll knit two stitches off of our cable needle. We're going to keep those stitches, the last two stitches, on our cable needle, and we're going to now bring that up to the front of our work. Then we're going to knit two more stitches off of our main needle, and then the last two stitches off of our cable needle. And we'll finish up by purling two. So we're gonna repeat rows one through 10 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the elliptical cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchday.com. Thank you.